the arts, 2500 to 500 BC. Since the earliest days, humans have decorated objects, made adornments, and represented ideas in artistic ways. This is a crucial part of the development of culture. The early people who lived in Europe some 25,000 years ago made little clay models of goddesses and animals. They were thought to be totems or religious objects to help encourage the fertility of the land or to communicate with the spirits of the animals. Some ancient peoples painted vivid pictures deep inside caves showing animals, tribal shamans, and hunting scenes. Artistic skills. Once people started leading more subtle lives, they began to make poetry and other decorated items. In China, the people of Yangshao painted pots with geometrical patterns on them. As copper and bronze replaced stone for weapons and tools, metal workers became important, and the tools and objects they made were richly decorated. They did this not just to make them beautiful. By carving gods or sacred symbols onto their tools or weapons, they believed that they could make them more effective. As towns and cities grew and staples became, states became wealthier, impressive temples, palaces, and other monumental buildings were decorated with carvings and paintings, showing what life was like. From frescoes of Mycenae to the Egyptian tomb paintings, and from Olmec carvings or Chinese painted pottery, the art of these ancient peoples have given us an insight into their way of life. Writing. Writing was originally a work of art, made up of pictures representing ideas or objects. Around 1000 BC, the Phoenicians invented the world's first alphabet. It had 22 characters. All were consonants, none were vowel sounds. The pictograms of ancient China represented whole words. One pictogram might mean mountain or town. Modern Chinese characters still represent concepts like this instead of sounds.